Hey everyone, Assistant Curator Ashley Levinsky from the Cody Firearms Museum here. And as I promised, I'm bringing you an update from my exciting office. I'm thinking about getting a backdrop in the future, but for right now, my lovely firearms reference bookcase will have to do. What we're going to talk about today is a question we get a lot when we have donors and lenders to the museum, which is, when someone brings something in, when are you going to put it on display? And what a lot of people don't know is that there is a very long process that we have to go through um, known as our acquisition process in order to get that gun ready to be seen by the public. The firearm I'm going to be referencing today is our Colt Single Action Army in 45 caliber that belonged to John Hart, who was the second Lone Ranger in the original Lone Ranger series from 1952 to 1954. Okay. So when this gun comes into the museum, the first thing we have to do is record what type of gun it was, any provenance, any specifications, serial number, engravings that we can possibly think of so that we can make a good argument for why that gun belongs in our museum. Once that goes through the appropriate uh, approval procedures, it then goes to our registration department. It's then their job to put all that information that we put in the proposal form into our cataloging software database. And that database is incredibly important because it's basically everything that we have in the museum in one file so that we can get to it and know where it is and keep track of things. The way we do that though is through a trinomial numbering system and typically with firearms we put them inside the trigger guard and it's a little blurry. Well, you can't read that number, but trust me, it's there. Um, and what we use is a 25% rag paper, and then we put the number on it. And the trinomial system goes like this. It's the year that we got it and acquired, and then the next number is the number of the acquisition for that year, and then the final number is the number in the collection. So this firearm we got in 2013, and it's the acquisition number 9 for that year, and it's the only major artifact in that collection, so it's number 1. We also have numbers that go for some of the things that came with it, such as Cowboys in the Kitchen, John Hart's cookbook that he wrote in the 1990s. And those also get numbers so that we can track them down very easily. Once it gets its number and it's placed inside the trigger guard, that's when we can start talking about labels that we'd like, which goes through its own long approval process that we won't talk about today. And then we start to design layout and get the mounts made so that it can go on display for the public. Uh, we are pretty far in the process for this gun, so it should be coming up in spring 2014, so make sure to check it out. And check us out on our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash Cody Firearms Museum and our Twitter page at Cody Firearms. See you guys.